Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Shadowhunters Season 2, Episode 17, titled A Dark Reflection. As the Shadowhunters race to find the third and last of the mortal instruments, Clary realizes that her brother Jonathan is working for Valentine. Now, the thumbnail for this episode is Clary in Lake Lynn. Which is why I was so confused in the last episode when they went to Idris and she landed in the lake and everything. Because I'm like, why is that the thumbnail for this episode if it was in the last one? But, yeah, so it seems like they've taken something from the previously on and put it as a thumbnail. Which obviously means that pretty much anything in this episode could be a spoiler. Uh, I've got no idea as to why they're searching for the final mortal instrument. I mean, yeah, there is the whole, pro well, prophecy, I guess. That I don't think they've actually spoken about in the show, so I'm not going to talk about it, but... With Valentine having the mortal cup and the mortal sword being MIA, it makes sense that they'd want to lock down the third one, so I guess that does make sense. And I wouldn't exactly say Jonathan's working for Valentine. Maybe with Valentine, but definitely not for Valentine. I mean, but... Anyway, um, don't know what to expect from this because while I know what the third mortal instrument is, no one in the show actually knows what the model um, mirror looks like. So how are they going to go about hunting that down in this? I guess we'll find out in three, two, one. Because, yeah, there's the Mortal Cup, the Mortal Sword, and the Mortal Mirror. And all depictions of the Mortal Instruments is Raziel rising out of a lake, holding the sword and the cup. Nothing shows the Mortal Mirror. So they don't know what it actually looks like. He died when he was an infant. He's still alive. Okay, I guess technically not previously on then. Now they really haven't delved into Clary's weird dreams in this as much as the book did. If you can hear that, I'm sorry, I'm mixing my hot chocolate. Wasn't sure if you could hear the clinking. Hmm, I was wondering if they were going to think of this. Hmm. Unless, of course, there's... 
That was a smart idea. I was wondering what was going to happen with it, but... kept those to remember the baby she should have had one not tainted by Valentine's experiments One thing I should touch upon, and I'm going to forget if I don't say it now, is in both this and the book, Jonathan knew that he was Clary's sister when he attempted to start a um, relationship with her. Because he asked her out in this, and he kissed her in interest in the book. Which is sort of how they kept that weird incesty thing running through the whole of the first series. Once they revealed that Jace wasn't actually Jonathan, they had the real Jonathan who had a thing for his sister. Yeah, it was weird. Each series focuses on a different type of like forbidden love. What are you going to do, Max? Well, there's the prophecy that I was talking about. Which is really interesting, because if the angels have the ability to grant that much power, they could just wish for the banishment of demons from the realm. Down to it all, Shadow Hunters are.
Is that just standing in the background? What was that demon mark? At least I assume it's a demon mark. Unless... No. Can't be. Well, it's not. That is how it was described in the book. I feel I should know the name Elliot North, but it's evading me if I should. Well, we've got no idea. There was no warlock named Elliot. There was a vampire named Elliot. There was a werewolf named Elliot, but no warlock. Complete transparency. Does that mean you're going to tell them about the mortal sword? The second one.
one second. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure that didn't skip any thing. It's always hard with new functions, but I was wrong at what I was trying to research. I thought I thought I remembered a warlock called Elliot, but no, it was Elias. What do you expect him to do? He's half demon. He doesn't exactly have healing magic. So, is that what I thought it was? If it is, it does make sense with some of the things that just happened, but... What else was it if that wasn't his demon mark? It's a map. Okay. So it's not what I thought it was. Didn't even bother cleaning up. I mean, Valentine does have the cup and Jonathan's demonic.
Hmm. I don't have a feeling this is a fake mission. Dang it, Simon. That's fair. I don't have a feeling that was meant to be a fire message. <coughs> Chuck her a weapon, she'll take you all on. And knowing the reputation of the Iron Sisters, she'd win.
seems like it's a combination of runes and it sends whatever message you want as opposed to you write a letter sign it with a rune and then it goes up in smoke I mean, yeah, Raphael. Speaker, where is the 12 year old? Here's the thing, they can't exactly um, bring in Clary's inner thoughts of the complete and utter wrongness that she felt when she kissed Sebastian in the book.
is about the sword, isn't it? Hmm. Wasn't. If you knew her story, you may not say that, but... I mean, you're not wrong. She is one of the most powerful downloaders. Though I would say there's at least one other who rivals her.
and flying knife straight into Dot's heart. Mm, no, okay, I was expecting her to not even make the statue, but... The model mirrors are compact? You could always just put him in on um, team missions, go with him for the first few times. And <laughs> what happened to the whole not talking?
will be here, sphorus and phosph phosphorus, which are the Morgenstern family sorts. Good tracker, Max. You did say that. Hmm. Well, I think I know what's going to happen in the next episode. Hmm. Obviously, that wasn't actually here for us and face for us. I can't actually say the second one. Um, Morgan's. Let me actually type Morgan Stern fam family swords. Yeah, it's face first. Um, P H A E S P H O R O S. Considering I have a lisp, and that's a hard word to say anyway. Yeah, I've got no chance of pronouncing it properly, but, um, yeah. Face for us was actually the sword that Valentine used for the majority of his fights because it was the Morgenstern family sword. And Heos for us is actually its sibling sword, but it was actually created for a father and son. So Faith for Us was for the father, Heroes for Us was the son, and they've just been passed down the Morgenstern line. When Jocelyn thought that um, Valentine was dead, she actually sold both the swords to a weapon shop in Alcante. And, well, she used that money to escape Idris and everything. Actually, I think she may have only been able to sell Heos for us. Not 100% sure on that. Because somehow, throughout the time that Valentine was dead, he'd managed to get um, Face for us back. Um, but yeah, so it could have been the swords that were coming at her, though. One of them did look like the mortal sword, which is why I thought maybe not. Also, Clary doesn't get here as far as until book six, I'm pretty sure. So, I, it doesn't really stop them from bringing it in now, I guess. But, yeah. It really, the ending of this episode really was foreshadowed at the start with Max saying that he was a good tracker and then bringing, the fo bringing forward the idea of tracking Jonathan by the stuff that was in that box. So I wonder what Sebastian's going to do with him. Considering the um, synopsis for the next episode starts with after an attack. The shadow hunters are on alert. I'm guessing something is going to be done with Max. Probably going to be taken or something. Going to look like someone broke in, kidnapped him, and that's it. So, because obviously you can't have Max saying that Jonathan is Sebastian. And can't knock him out. We saw how that went with um, Hodge and Lydia. So, yeah. You'd expect him to be kidnapped and... But, yeah. 
other than that, I am a little surprised that they're doing the Meyer and Simon romance. But I guess there is still time for that to develop. Obviously, they're not doing the um, two at a time. But, yeah. Am I a wee bit surprised in the fact that they did keep the um, Jonathan kissing Clary? And this is after we know that he's her brother. In the book, it was done at um, Ragnar's cottage. After every, after she'd spoken to Magnus and he'd gone out and unfroze Jonathan in that, he kissed Clary. And she just had this wave of wrongness wash over her. And so she pushed away. She felt this um, cold of dread so bad that it almost hurt. I believe that's the way it's described. And yeah, so obviously you can't have those internal feelings shown in the show. So they just had her reject him, but yeah. That was weird. Because the first, the first three books, it was Clary and Jess. They're, si they're siblings, they have feelings for each other, what's going to happen? The next set of books, it's Jonathan and his feelings for Clary. And yeah, that's, that's weird. The sequel series is actually the love between two Parabatai is the forbidden love because that's actually illegal by the clave the um first prequel series it's the love between a warlock girl and two parabatai one who believes that he is cursed and that anyone who loves him will die gruesomely so he does his hardest to push her away. And the other is the actual Yin Fen addict from the books who is basically a year away from dying at best. And that's, that's what the forbidden love is in the first one. Either the one who believes that she will die if she loves him and the other one who will die very shortly and they're parabatai and then in the um the second prequel series it's a the main character is in love with one of her friends from childhood who is being cursed to love someone else but no one knows about this and also, her, his Parabatai gets involved in her. There's a lot of Parabatai stuff in this, but... Yeah, it's... There's always a weird... Uh, love angle. That is a central theme. In these series. And... I don't know why that's the case, but it is. But... Yeah, obviously... They're actually delving into the whole Jonathan having feelings for Clary, which I really thought they were going to exclude. Of all the things for the books that they didn't change, that is the one thing that I would have been okay with them changing, because it was weird. It's still weird, but at least now I know it's a thing and I'm prepared whenever I get to that point, but still weird. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to see what happens with Max in the next episode. I don't know whether we're going to learn what happened with Dot. I don't know if we're going to learn what happened with Cleophus. Yeah. 
Well, I guess we'll just have to continue watching. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.